Hello and welcome, long time no see. In this video, we're gonna look at the audio visualization feature in Shotcut, which is brand, brand, brand new. Check your version in Shotcut under help in about Shotcut. You have to have 18, 11, 18 or newer. 18, 11 is not enough. It's really, really brand new in this version. So make sure you have that version at least. And uh, then you just get your audio file and drag it in there. I'm gonna drag it to the timeline and uh, just gonna prepare for later and add some more sounds. We're gonna have four sounds in total, uh, which have different audio spectrums as you already can hear. All right, here we go. So uh, we are looking at the uh, visualization effects for audio. So let's just click on one of the clips we just dragged to the timeline and then in filters, press the plus and we can just visual. I like to use the search. I'm lazy like that, S which is also new. Awesome. So uh, you can just type in visual or you can go to audio. Is it an audio? Because it's really a video effect for audio files. Uh, yeah, it seems to be a video effect because it is a video effect. Audio spectrum visualization and audio waveform visualization. We're going to take a look at both of them. Uh, yeah, we just click on them. We don't need to drag. So you, you see the box. Let's just drag it big. I'll just enter the numbers which I know so well by heart by now. Right, here we go. Full HD resolution. Let's just play this back and see how it uh, looks. Right, this is a bit skinny. Let's go ahead and change uh, the thickness. Is there a thing for that? Yeah, here, thickness. So if we... There's a like two seconds delay maybe. Let's make it to max. 20, 20 pixels is max. Okay, this looks... This looks silly and nice. Uh, we're listening to some bats in a cave. Or something similar. A uh, mirror of a spectrum, what does that do? Okay, so we can have this kind of stuff. That's cool. We can filter the area... Sorry, fill the area under the spectrum. Yeah, that's a thing we can have. Yeah, that's really a style choice. Reverse the spectrum, I don't know what... I guess just mirroring. Fine with me. Let's... Oh yeah, well, this is mirroring. That's the other mirroring. So let's uh, just jump back so we don't... Whoops. So we don't get out of this. Tension. What is that? That's... Okay, so this looks really weird now. Over here, some edgy lines. Let's get the tension away. This is even worse. Or is it? Not sure I can tell. But I think a higher tension might be... Maybe might be better. Right, bands. Uh, this is probably like a resolution of this frequency spectrum thingy. If we only have 5, this is just ridiculous. If we have 36, it's broken. Just use 100, I would say. Uh, low frequency, I think we are... Well, this is an interesting sound. It has uh, mostly low frequencies, but then there's sporadic high frequency. So really, we want to see it all. But we could reduce this. And then we would have uh, a more even visualization, let's call it. Yeah, definitely. But we want to see it all. And threshold... Threshold? Okay, so this is just... Uh, how noisy does the sound have to be to be considered for visualization? Let's just leave it at the minimum, uh, which is the most sensitive. Okay, we're just gonna check what is this bar. How does this look? Okay, we can have bars, why not? Uh, let's combine this, this with, uh, not reverse, but mirroring. That ought to look, yeah, it looks cool pixely. Uh, and I'm just gonna, uh, this, this certainly doesn't have any effect anymore. Let's reduce the thickness and change the spectrum color to maybe orange. Why not? Oh, I c okay, so this actually does something. So the thickness, here we go, does play a role in this visualization. Alright, so much for the audio spectrum visualization. Let's set this to maybe green. Unfortunately, there are no, you know, there's these typical color gradients for left, well, low and high frequencies. If you remember Winamp, you know what I mean. Anyways, let's take a look at the audio spectrum visualization. Visualization. Let's take a look at the um, audio waveform visualization, which is, to be honest, the one I'm more interested in. 
Let's switch to a different sound for this. Let's see, do we go for the crowd or for the menu? Uh, this is gonna be... Nah. Let's go for the supermarket. Yeah. This is a bit uh, more variation. These are very even. Let's go for this. Let's add the audio waveform visualization. Let's... Uh, I'm just gonna set the numbers here, because uh, I don't know if I can use any kind of snapping yet. All right, that's nice. And uh, this is really tiny. Let's let's play it back. Okay. What's a window about? So what's if we set this to one second? I see. So we can have some kind of visualization that travels with us. Um, I, I suppose any value higher than zero will produce this, and if we go to zero, I'm not exactly sure what's going, what's happening then. Hmm, come to think of it, they always travel, don't they? You know, the best kind of visualizations are which, which just visualize the entire sound file, but that's something entirely different, you have to use completely different solutions for that. Pre-render them with uh, socks, for example. I have uh, I made a good answer on uh, Stack Exchange for that. Ask me in the comments if you're interested. Anyways, we're gonna remain with this one. Waveform color, maybe go for red. Oh, I gotta loop this. Okay. I'm really not sure which. Yeah, I think I prefer like maybe half a second. Nah, this is too too fast, too noisy. These uh, limits of uh, bars that you can set in shortcut, they sometimes seem so arbitrary. Arbitrary? Anyways, let's check out different thicknesses. Okay, this looks a bit more... Uh, juicy. Juicy. That's not a juicy color. Maybe this. Okay, let's see. We have much less configuration in this area. Too bad we can't move this up. So we have uh, more space. Uh, filling the area under the spectrum, does that make sense to me or does it not make sense to me? I'm not so sure. Maybe... Oh, I, s I see. It's probably because of thickness. No? Combine all channels into one waveform. Maybe that... Oh, I see. We can visualize multi-channel audio files. That's pretty nifty. That is pretty nifty. Uh, hang on, I'm just gonna get a multi-channel audio file. Alright, so here we are. This is uh, a, f a 6 or 5.1 channel audio file by Esperi from Freesound. And it's a kitty. You know, I'm gonna use uh, this fantastic feature for copying filters. I'm just gonna click on the uh, clip that has a filter that I want. Just gonna click this, copy the filters, click the clip I want to have it, and paste. Let's see what this looks like. I see. Now, oh, I see. So this is just uh, some weird export of an actual stereo file. Weird. But if we maybe go to properties and uh, let's see, this track one, six channel audio. Huh. Combine all channels to one. Nope. And undo. Nope. So this does not seem to be working with uh, multi-channel audio. Maybe. Alright, I got another audio file. Let's check it out. This one actually has four channels in use. Uh, so it's... Oops. Audacity, why do you do this to me? Alright, let's drag it to the project and uh, let's... Let's just... Let's just select the filter new. Maybe copying it from a two-channel... Um, you know, audio clip. Maybe that prevents it from using all channels. So here is audio waveform visualization, and let's uh, let's just drag it a bit bigger, okay? And uh, now we're gonna not combine. All right, so it only works for stereo. I mean, it only visualizes stereo, which is fine. So no cat pairing here. Uh, let's go back to the supermarket. Let's see what uh, what else do we have? We have um, background color. This is probably important. If you change it, it seems to affect the entire region, which is very weird. And uh, you cannot properly change... You cannot change it properly. Um, 
to what it was in the beginning, which was transparent. So you have to click here and then you have to set off a channel to zero. Just a little help for you people actually using this. And I think that's all we have to check out. All we have to see here. Uh, let's, um, let's combine them. I'm just going to copy this filter from here, drag it onto the supermarket clip, paste it. Now, okay, so now it's this one. All right, very good. And this one we're going to full screen. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Kind of nice, kind of cool. Yeah, I'm really happy with this new uh, feature. Let's see, thickness, maybe crank this up a bit. Very nice. So I hope you enjoy this new feature as much as I will. And as usual, make sure to subscribe to support this channel, and I will see you in the next video. Until then, ciao!